Fun? Absolutely. Relaxing? Not so much. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 insanely stressful video games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be taking another look at games that have intense atmosphere and action, which also refuse to give the player a single moment of rest. Please note there will be minor spoilers for some of the more story-heavy games on this list. You have been warned. I'm Todd Habercorn and you think you know stress! You don't know stress! You don't know shit! Until you've taken your bloody face and looked in the eye of Dr. Wiley himself with only one health left! You don't know stress! <clears throat> um... Okay. Let's get ready to mojo! Number 10, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Regardless of your opinion about the explosive popularity of the battle royale genre, you can't deny the rush it provides when you're one of the last players alive. <clears throat> PUBG is a slower paced game compared to its competition and you're likely to go through most of a match without encountering another player should you take a safer route but that doesn't exactly make for a comfortable experience. On the contrary, because the slow and cautious strategy is so common among players, the overall tension is actually much higher. And if you're able to make it into the top 10 during a match, it can get very nerve wracking knowing you've made it this far with victory in your grasp. It must be exactly how the men feel on The Bachelorette. Number nine. Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. A cult classic of the open world survival game genre, Stalker throws the player into the zone, an irradiated wasteland that's the result of a second nuclear disaster in Chernobyl. Not only does the player have to worry about areas filled with toxic radiation and scarce supplies, but roaming gangs and twisted mutants will not hesitate to make your trip across the desolated wasteland an unpleasant one. One enemy type in particular, known as a bloodsucker, has a habit of rushing the player when they least expect it, and in tight areas too. Have a great time exploring those abandoned laboratories, I'll, uh, I'll wait in the car. Number eight, Subnautica. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. What's scarier than navigating the depths of our ocean? Did you say trying to drink milk after the expiration date? Yeah, that's pretty scary, but that's not what I'm talking about. In maritime terms, I'm talking about visiting the ocean on an alien world, and then taking the one kind of level that most people detest and turning it into an entire game, and a remarkably fascinating one at that. Subnautica has you exploring the depths of an unfamiliar body of water after crash landing on a newly discovered planet. While there are portions where you have your feet on dry land, the majority of the game has you underneath the waves, scrounging for materials and trying desperately to stay out of the way of the huge carnivorous creatures that lurk below. Number seven, The Walking Dead series. I'm right here. <laughs> Put down the knife. As one of Telltale's finest ventures, The Walking Dead is held dear by many gamers. The father-daughter relationship that develops between Lee and Clementine as they struggle to survive in this new world makes for an incredibly emotional story. Though anyone who's played this knows that it's as heartbreaking as it is engaging. Often the choices you make can spell disaster for the characters, and you typically only have seconds to make them, giving you little time to weigh the consequences. Choose wrong, and you're forced to watch a favorite character die in the worst ways imaginable. Hold me. No! Get him off of me! <laughs> Number six, Silent Hill 2. To this day, this sequel remains one of the most terrifying gameplay experiences out there. 
The player takes control of the oh-so-awkward James Sutherland as he tries to unravel the mystery of the twisted town of Silent Hill. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. The developers definitely went all out in order to disorient and scare players. The camera angles change drastically to confuse you, with the various nightmarish creatures continuously emerging from the fog to end your life. It doesn't help that James can barely fight, which makes every encounter a terrifying one. If this game doesn't get you sweating, you're clearly blessed with nerves of steel. And you've probably done a lot of cardio, so you've got a strong heart. Good for you. Now it's time to end this. Number five, Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> This one caught us completely off guard for how stressful it can be. As a remake of a classic PS1 title, we thought we knew what we were in for, shooting or avoiding zombies with limited ammo, while getting big guns to take down liquors and solve puzzles. I mean, how bad could it have been? And then, he shows up. This invincible trench coat clad monster, Mr. X. He'll constantly stalk you throughout a large portion of the game. We lost count of how many times we were cowering in fear in some of the offices, hoping he wouldn't find us while his footsteps echo down the hallways. It's even more terrifying if you're wearing headphones. Mr. X, go and give it to you. This is not a fucking game! Number four, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Go on, nothing will stop. Run, Senua, run, run, run. There are a lot of dark-themed games out there that focus on jump scares and grotesque monsters to stress the player out. Hellblade, while having some nasty creatures of its own, shifts the focus to the horrors of the mind. Senua is on a journey to Helheim to rescue the soul of her dead lover, fighting all sorts of horrors along the way. However, the real danger is the voices brought on by her psychosis that prey upon her fragile sanity. It's so dark, it's dark. The dark, only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross into hell. Not only do they try and put her down the wrong path, but in some cases, they even attempt to get her to take her own life. Talk about intense. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Stop! Number three. Dark Souls series. Come on, you knew this had to be on the list. There are very few games that manage to stress out the player like the Souls series. While Dark Souls wasn't the first Souls game, it is the one that elevated it to worldwide popularity, introducing millions of new players to its unforgiving nature. Enemies that attack relentlessly, traps around every corner, and towering bosses that toss the player around like a rag doll. This game throws everything at you. Then there's the fact that you can be invaded at any time by other online players and the constant fear that one wrong move will cost you all the vital souls you need to level up. It all adds up to one seriously nerve wracking adventure. Raise your hands if you've never beaten any of the games. Me. Number two, Cuphead. You may be asking how a game with so much charm could possibly be so high on this list. Well, cute though it may look, Cuphead is one of the most challenging 2D shoot 'em ups of the last decade. Depending on nothing but your wits and reflexes, you have to make your way through a multitude of levels with very little room for error. The bosses alone make you want to break your controller, as most of them go through several phases, each one harder than the last. But hey, at least the old-timey soundtrack will keep you company as you die over and over again. Before we unveil our top picks, here are a few honorable mentions. I can smell you. I can hear you. Where are I? Number one, Darkest Dungeon.
With stress as one of its central mechanics, this game more than earns our top spot. The Macabre Darling is a turn-based RPG where the player must explore randomly generated areas with their merry band of fellow dungeon crawlers. The thing is that each party member comes with a stress bar, which increases as the party witnesses events such as character deaths or particularly disturbing enemies. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. When they get too freaked out, they may refuse to attack and potentially go insane. Throw in some tricky boss fights and you have yourself a game that revels in torturing its audience. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.